Okay, I'm going to uh, show you now how to make a clipping mask in Illustrator. Now sometimes we think about masks and we think about Photoshop too, but the masks are different in Illustrator uh, versus in Photoshop. So pretty much what a mask does is it is a way to um, you know, crop an image of sorts. So what we begin with is, let's say that I have these three images here. I have this image of a dragonfly and a circle. Now let's say that I wanted to have this dragonfly fit perfectly in this circle and I don't want these wings to be here. What I can do is I can mask the wings out. So this is how it's done. I'm going to take a shape, a circular shape, um, and you know you could really take any shape. You could take a polygon, a star, whatever. You could even draw it with a path tool. You could draw it with the pen tool. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to turn this fill off, and I'm going to draw my shape. I'm going to move it over. Uh, let's see, move this on over here, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, but this is pretty much the idea. Okay. Bring this up a little bit. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Shift and I'm going to select all of these images. All three of the images are selected. The circle that's behind, the dragonfly, and then the circle on top. The circle that I drew on the top is going to be what will be used to mask everything else around it. So what I come to next is I come to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Okay, and there we have it. Now, the difference in Illustrator is that this image is still there. Even though it's masked right now, I could release this mask and it's all there because again, it's vector. So all of those paths, okay, you can see the paths of the wing um, still exist. Now to undo that, I could just select it and then we could we could release it. Um, object click clipping mask release. There you have it. It's that easy. Thanks for listening.